And tell us about Board Studios. And Board Studios is a company that I started uh, eight years ago. So before that, I was in finance and I had invested in a startup where we needed an explainer video. And we started working with some companies. It was a nightmare because they couldn't understand what we're doing. And then the execution of the video was a nightmare. So we said, wait a minute, this is interesting. A lot of businesses need explainers. We can do this better, faster, cheaper. It so happened that the startup was about connecting you with creatives around the world. So I had a list of 100 creatives. And we figured out the process. And we said, let's test it out. It tested out great. We got our first client from a landing page that I created. Then I did some ads and it worked out great. So I was doing that on the side. And uh, as it kept, kept growing, I left finance and I devoted myself full time to this. Yeah, we're, we're an agency that produces explainer videos for companies ranging from uh, startups all the way to the Fortune 100. So, so uh, just, just briefly, before we go into some of the details on how you've grown and scale, um, tell us why a company needs an explainer video and what it really does. So pretty much every company needs an explainer because it's extremely difficult to communicate what's in the founder's head. When you're in a business, you know exactly what you're doing, but, and you think that it's so simple. When you explain it to somebody, I would say there is no chance in hell they will get it. Uh, and that has to do with, uh, there is actually a very interesting book, uh, How to Pitch Anything, uh, where it explains exactly why that happens. When you explain something, you're using the most developed and most sophisticated part of your brain, whereas when somebody listens new messaging, they use the croc part of the brain, which is the fight or flight. So that part of the brain is responsible for keeping uh, superfluous messaging out because we're bombarded with new messages every day. Uh, so in order to penetrate that part, you have to not, to not necessarily dumb it down, but maybe make it very approachable for the crock part of the brain to process it and understand it. If it doesn't understand it, it says, this is crap. Let me get rid of it. Let's focus on what's much relevant for, for me. So it's very much about making sure that you're penetrating the crock part of the brain of your audience in order to be able to communicate your message effectively so they really get the value proposition. You're saying uh, develop the what part of your brain? I, 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 I'm i missing that word. So our brain has uh, three different systems. The more sophisticated part of the brain is what you're using in order to explain something. You're using your logic. But the croc, the crocodile, ah, it's the reptile, it. it's the most... Reptilian brain. Based. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yep. That's really interesting. So do you end up having to, um, like, it, it sounds really straightforward. I, I'm a business owner. I, I need an explainer video. But when you dig into it, I imagine you are ending up in a lot of strategy conversations. Is that like creative conversations, positioning conversations? Is that right? Oh, absolutely. And the, that obviously varies by company, but the earlier stage company that comes to us, obviously when it's the Fortune 100, they have figured out all their messaging, their branding, their targeting. So there we don't have as much of a strategy conversation. The strategy there has more to do with how can video help you get your message out there? How can you demonstrate thought leadership in a more, more cost-effective way? Whereas with the smaller companies, we have to go into some branding elements. They may not even have a logo sometimes, so we design the logo. They may not have branding guidelines, so we figure out their color palette. Or it's more about targeting what we're trying to say with Sometimes about is a video the right approach for you? I've turned away clients because they say, you know, we have this website and it's not converting. We need a video. Video is not a panacea. It's not going to solve all your problems. You have to solve, figure out what's the problems that and then video is all about pouring gas on the fire is when you're ready to grow that's when you need video that with more people make sure they get it and they connect with you and they engage you but it's not going to solve your problem if you have a product market fit or a message market fit thank you for listening to this episode of the la business podcast if you like what we're doing on this podcast please consider subscribing on apple or google play leaving a five-star review and sharing with your friends. If you have any questions, comments, or recommendations for a guest you'd like to hear on this podcast, please email me, robert at brillmedia.co. Thank you. Have a fantastic day.